What does the Apostle Paul mean in 1 Thessalonians 5.17 by pray without ceasing? Welcome to the Shen Word Feed, your daily source of spiritual nourishment and biblical insights. I'm Dr. Patrick Urban, and I'm thrilled to guide you through inspiring devotionals and weekly Bible studies. Join me today as we discuss this important topic of pray without ceasing. And obviously, our scripture is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, King James Version, which simply states, Pray without ceasing. The Lord's command through Paul to pray without ceasing might initially seem overwhelming. How can we pray without ever stopping? Does this mean we should spend all our time in a prayer closet, isolated from the world? While fully understanding the exact meaning of this text might be challenging, two key insights into prayer are hidden in this command. Prayer as an attitude and prayer as fellowship. But before we explore these, let's review some basic principles of sound biblical interpretation. How the root meaning of words, that is, etymology, blends with context to clarify understanding. The Greek term for without ceasing is adialiaptos, which means continuously or without stopping. Taken literally, this could suggest that we should always be in our prayer closet, every day, every hour, every minute. Interestingly, a group of early Christians called the Eukites took this command literally and dedicated themselves solely to prayer. However, adding context, examining the verse within its chapter, book, and entire Bible helps us interpret Paul's true meaning. In Romans 1 verse 9, Paul says, Without ceasing, I make mention of you always in my prayers. Here, the meaning becomes clearer. Paul wasn't always on his knees, but had a consistent prayer life, regularly remembering the Romans in his prayers. This aligns with Jesus' teaching in Luke 18 verse 1, that men ought always to pray. Neither Jesus nor Paul spent every moment on their knees, but both maintained an attitude of prayer and constant communion with God. This brings us to the first insight, an attitude of prayer, or a spirit of prayer. This is the inclination to pray regularly, seeking God constantly in all things. Jesus exemplified this attitude. He had a consistent prayer schedule, spending time with his Father early in the morning before engaging with others. Mark 1 verse 35. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. In addition to this attitude, there is the fellowship of prayer. This concept extends prayer beyond fixed times or specific places to an ongoing communion of fellowship with God. Every day, every minute, everywhere. Whether at home, work, or church, we can maintain a continuous inner dialogue with God, staying in His presence. Praying without ceasing involves embracing both the attitude of prayer. It's not about choosing one over the other, but growing in both areas. So, what's the Lord saying to you today? Pray without ceasing. Let prayer become both your habit and your heart's constant posture. Meditate. Do you have an attitude of prayer? How often do you seek fellowship with God throughout your day? Reflect on how you can cultivate a more consistent prayer life. Apply the word. Praying without ceasing suggests that we are already praying. And the call is to continue without stopping. If you haven't even started praying regularly, now is the time to begin. 
If you are praying, make it a continuous practice. Pray without ceasing. Pray. Let's talk to the Father. Dear Father, we ask that you fill us with a spirit of prayer. We ask that you help us to seek your guidance to grow both in the attitude and the fellowship of prayer. Thank you for joining us today on the Shen Word Feed. We hope you felt refreshed as you nourished your heart with this word and drank of the Spirit. Remember to subscribe and share, inviting others to partake in the richness of God's Word. Join us again for the next episode of the Shen Word Feed to sit at the Father's table partaking in rich spiritual food.